Hey, how's it going? It's Martin Ross, and today we're going to be doing the reverse reverb effect or the beat tag reverb effect in Studio One. First, we'll do two parts. We'll do the how to do it without using Studio One as a doll and how Studio One made it a lot easier to do it in its doll. So before we get into it, you know what's going to happen. If you like this video, leave a like. If you have anything to say, comments, questions, leave it in the comment section. Also, hit the subscribe button, click the bell, so that way you get alerted when I upload a video on your device. Also, most important, share if you know someone that has questions or wants to know how this is done. Please share the video. Let's get into it. What we're going to do is we're going to do a generic reverse reverb without using Studio One's uh, built-in. So what we're going to do is we're going to import a vocal. You can record it or whatever. Um, my friend Nikki years ago was very kind and recorded on her iPhone a beat tag for me. So let's hear it. Martin Ross made this beat. All right. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and cut the part where she says Martin. I want to duplicate that to a second track. I'm going to reverse that. So it should be like this. Um. Right? Now, what I want to do is I want to find a reverb, right? I'm going to go with a stock reverb, any reverb with a good tail, which is a, uh, let's do tunnel effect, right? All right, I'm going to send that to 100. Fully, fully just 100% re wet reverb. Here, see what that sounds like. <laughs> Perfect. That is what I want, all right? Within that selection, let me see. I will bounce it so that way I can get that tail, right? So you could see the little loop that I made and I bounced it so I can have catch the tail. What I'm going to do now is now I'm going to mix it down. It will peak. Sometimes that happens. I don't want to delete it. But see this tail right here? That is that effect we're looking for, okay? So now the next thing to do is to flip it. Reverse it one more time. All right, now let's hear what that sounds like. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the main vocal line. I'm going to glue it back together, adjust it to where it kind of ends right where the name kind of goes. You kind of want that to bleed in. So let's hear what that sounds like. Martin Ross made this beat. Perfect. And there you have it. That's the first part of doing it without using Studio One's built-in. Uh, if you have any other doll that has this ability to use any reverb, this is the way to do it. Now, before we move to the next side, I know for a fact you came to this video and you are not subscribed. Please, my analytics is telling me that you guys are in here checking it out and not subscribing. So we got this far, hit the subscribe button, click the bell so that way you get updates straight to your device. Let's move on to the next part. Okay, so moving on to Studio One's reverse reverb effect, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut the vocal that I want. Let's hear that. Mark. All right, so now I'm going to click Macro, and I'm going to go to Explore Macros, and I'm going to make sure the track's selected, and I'm going to say Reverse Reverb. And there you have it. The tail is made. It's ready to go. So I'm going to cut to where I want it. I'm going to bring this to the beginning. As I did previously, I'm going to kind of match it to where I want that line to hit. Martin Ross made this beat. And there you have it. There is your reverse reverb effect right there in Studio One. So if you have any questions, leave questions in the comments. If you like the video or if this is something new to you, hit that like button. Also, you've gotten this far, hit the subscribe, click the bell. Most important, share. Also, I have sample library that's available. Links are in the description. So I appreciate you for getting this far. Make sure you subscribe. I got more videos coming for you. So thank you so much for checking this out. Y'all take care.